Hello and welcome to RA Place Victoria C Block. This is episode 286, and we're gonna crank this stuff up a little bit. Um, so yeah, I mean we can we can we can bring in the hydrogen, but it's not gonna blow us away. Uh, I also don't know. No, it doesn't appear to be up here anywhere, but I'm pretty sure we have it running down here. Yeah, let's. Uh, yeah, we can just pull it up. Like through here somewhere. That seems fine. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Maybe chain it like this. And then we'll bring it in over here. Oh, interesting. And the. Uh, so the base mineral oil you can't synthesize just like the, the other ones apparently okay so this is out and uh, you're gonna be changing recipes yeah so we could do two with napta and one with residual gas or something if we look at the output of these processes yeah, then this gives even less nap napta and it gives a lot more base mineral oil. So this is, I think, the way to go. Uh, we'll just set this up over here. Uh, connect that in. And then we'll go like this uh, for the hydrogen. Oh, we, I drew a pipe, but the hydrogen is actually right over here, which is interesting. I totally missed that. Oh well. Yeah, in that case, let's just get rid of a little bit of this because it's it's kind of weird to have it. Okay, that's better. Okay, so yeah, these guys are fine. Okay, I we're actually running two of them now. That seems yeah, maybe maybe that's the case. That could be. It's at least better better supplied simply because we use a little bit less so that's good and we should be getting a lot more napta and then we're gonna set up a little bit over here so that's simply gonna be yeah i'll need to get some of this in here let's do it like this so yeah you're gonna be over here and we're gonna bring you up like that and then we're gonna look at how to make napta how to make napta which is red metal catalyst synthesis gas and oh carbon monoxide okay we'll need to get that in somewhere but i'm pretty sure we should have it running somewhere but it might be down at the other stuff let's see this does this give us carbon monoxide anywhere by any chance no I'm pretty sure there's some carbon dioxide floating around here somewhere. Yeah, over here, right? I'm pretty sure that's what you use to make monoxide. But yeah, and the alternative is to bring it in from somewhere over here. Yeah, we have carbon monoxide. Oh, we're actually bringing that up, just not all the way. So if we can bring this up, then we'd be good. So let's do that. Uh, yeah, I'll we'll go like this. That seems fine. Over here, yeah, we're all good. Yeah. Uh, these are yeah. This is this is steam leftovers, I guess. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So let's see. We have yeah the monoxide up here. And then we just need to find a spot on this fluid bus. I guess what we're gonna do is bring it in on uh, on this side of the plastic. Oh, we can't do that. Okay, let's do it over here then. Yeah, this seems fine. And what we're gonna do is just bring it up like this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, fill in a little bit. And then get you guys here. Yeah. Okay, that seems good. So we have the Napta up here, we have the syn gas up here. 
Is this behind the... Uh... Oh. This doesn't look too good. Okay, I guess we have a... Oh wait, do we need... Wait, do we need the residual? Or we need the sin gas, right? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, that's really what we do need. So I am going to set it up and we're just going to have to wait and see if it works out. Um, we can use normal plants though. Uh, so let's do that. Um, yeah. A uh, little bit of land here. Yeah, I mean, we're using a little bit for these guys. And that's basically, let's see. So, wait, are we venting anything here? Let's see. Methane gas? No, that's probably all right. Yeah, yeah. If we're venting that somewhere, that would be really weird. The other stuff I don't quite know about. Like, it might be that we have a vent somewhere. But it looks, yeah, for the butane, it looks like we d we do. Um, yeah, and we have these residuals, which, yeah, it's it's a lot, but it's not so much that these guys can't handle it. So it's really the residuals that are doing great work. Why? Yeah, you're not. This is connected, right? Yeah, this is fine, but we just don't have enough oil to make stuff happen. Okay. Yeah, so we have, let's do a proper assembly machine. You're going to be making which ones? The red metal catalyst, right? Red. Yeah, those guys, so th those are actually one of the simpler ones. Uh, yeah. We can remove the frames, uh, carrier. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then you guys are going to be uh, synthesizing Napta. Yeah. So we have the Napta coming in on this side. Uh, yeah, that's gonna need a top up valve as well. We happen to have one, so that's good. And then we're gonna have carbon monoxide on this end and syngas on this end. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, and it looks like we're gonna need to find uh, good ways to make that uh, happen. Um, so we're gonna do this. Yeah, that's all right. Um, and we're gonna connect this up. Yeah, then we need some power over here. And we're gonna do output and input. You're gonna be running over here. Like uh, this. Uh, we can run over here, that makes a lot of sense. And then we'll bring you in like that. And then we'll do this, 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 this. Uh, you guys are gonna be picking up from here and then you guys are gonna drop here and we're gonna need to put some of those frames that we crafted in there we go and put some power in okay yeah this should be good like these guys should be getting sing, sing as they actually are so that's really nice yeah I guess they're gonna get just a little maybe yeah it's it's like they they clearly are deprioritized over these guys but yeah what you gonna do let's see can we not make synthesis gas out of asset gas or something let's see Yeah, 
Yeah, so we can make it with acidic buffers, which, but then it takes sulfur dioxide gas, which is actually kind of expensive re relative to what we're doing. So I don't know if we want to be doing this, but it, it could be interesting. Yeah. I, yeah, I have no idea if that's uh, like a proper way to go about things. Okay, so the Napta flow is actually coming along just fine now. So that's that's really nice. Like this is gonna be balanced nicely. We're gonna have like everything in in little bits. These guys are actually running, which is kind of weird, but I guess that works out. Okay, I thought I heard something weird, but it should be fine. Let's see how how the blue science is doing is that that coming up again or is it still problematic let's see these guys are actually fine now it's something else it's these guys which are lacking they're lacking these laser thingies which are uh, they're okay those are lacking green circuits then right yeah looks like they are and green circuits are lacking yeah, just because I guess, let's see. Yeah, because, uh, because iron plate is low. Okay. Well, that might be something we can work on. Let's see. Uh, iron. Yeah, it's going to be, if we look at Jivalite. Yeah, then a lot of it is dead just because we don't have the mineral sludge. So I think we want to do some raw, raw expansion, basically. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't see why not. Um, I'm also going to add a buffer to blue science. I think that seems like a prudent thing to do because we'll, we'll get some blue science up and running. Uh, at some point, then the yellow will be a little bit low and it, it makes a lot of sense to just have a small buffer of the blue science because we're, if we're, if we're bottlenecked on blue, it's always going to be noticeable so, so quickly. Yeah. So let's, let's just do that as well. Um, it's not really going to matter, but yeah. And uh, let's do it over here. Uh, we'll get you to drop here. We'll limit you to two stacks and we'll get you to pick up uh, from he here, I guess. Yeah. Okay. That's better. Uh, wait, uh, you are dropping over there. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Right. Yeah, this is okay. Yeah. So we're really we're really just hampered by these guys. Um, right. If we look at, if we look at this. Yeah. Okay. The, the, the flow of this on the, on the network also, it's just a little bit low, but yeah, it's not like these guys are full and we don't have an issue, right? It's it's that we don't really have, we just don't have enough. Yeah, iron is really low. Uh, let's see, if we look at iron smelting, it's gotta be ore, right? Yeah, yeah it is ore. Yeah, okay. So uh, let me just check out if we look at uranium. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have a lot of uranium. Yeah, we actually are gonna have a lot of uranium, which is nice. Um, yeah, so I, I do need to set up the, um, the production of that. Like we do need to have a fallback in case, uh, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna actually need to get that. Um, what we can do is upgrade these guys. That's really, really worth it. And I'd say same for these. That's not, it's not going to be problematic. Um, okay. Maybe it is, but, uh, yeah, like putting it in here is, is going to be pay dividends. Uh, 
yeah, actually uh, let me just put this Robocord in here and just steal a couple back from here because I do uh, want to have yeah let me just steal those as well then I guess I do want to have two or three to just uh, stuff in the uh, uranium production because that's pretty key if we look at uranium ore so we're gonna need to make it at the hybrid catalyst stage um, we're gonna have a little bit of stuff going on because of the the ores coming in but yeah this is all good so we have you we have you we have you do we yeah, we we do have the space reserved but we don't have the, the actual thing uh we need to use an ore for let's use a three this is gonna get power to everything okay let's put down the radar a little bit higher yeah like this uh this we can just do over here right yeah um they're missing the ore sorting facility that's fine because i can put that down we gonna change the recipe to uranium ore and we're just gonna have a passive provider over here uh, with this guy and some of that yeah that seems fine then we have the hybrid catalyst um, along with sapphire for example and that's gonna be uh, right here so we're gonna do this we're gonna bring the hybrid stuff in from this way then we can set this up like this and we can bring in the sapphire crystals from this side um, then we're gonna do the other two which are crotonium and the brown ones so we'll uh, underground these guys bring this up uh, bring this up and just uh, merge the two uh, yeah, we're gonna go a little bit higher like this and then you have the space to go underground and you as well then we can work on it like this and uh, bring you underground bring you underground and then we can connect it up so if we do a power pull here then we should be fine right so you're gonna be getting everything you need uh, we're gonna put some let's put zeros in there for now actually um, and you are limited by 16 if it's uranium ore which seems fine yeah we're gonna just ma be making uranium ore as we need it uh, we probably won't for a bit because yeah we have 2.2k still from initial stuff but if we look at the chances here I think we might actually need it uh, let's see uranium where is that uranium no not over here over here yeah so it's 0.7 percent to get the enriched stuff so that means if we have a thousand we expect seven on average yeah so I think we'll actually all we'll burn through our supply before we're actually at at the the amount necessary for Kovrex enrichment, which is uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Um, I guess it's not that bad that this is taking so long. Then let's see if we look at our supply. Yeah, it's still the green circuits that that are problematic. Uh, so yeah, I think we can just copy some stuff to uh, to improve uh, mineral sludge production Because yeah, that's really really where it uh, where it's at We could start flying some ores back and forth as well like if we 
use the, the productivity modules, then yeah, then we could do something there as well. But for now, I think we're good uh, this way. Okay, this looks empty, but it's actually full. Uh, let's also, yeah, okay. Apparently these, yeah, I mean, if we're low on green circuits, then it makes sense that we're also having problems there. This is a nice amount of, uh, yeah, let's grab some extra because we're gonna need to expand a little bit. Yeah, and we're, we're just gonna do some, uh, some blueprinting of these guys, I guess. Um, yeah, so if we want to figure out ratios, where are you guys? Oh, we're short on sulfuric acid. Okay. So that's actually a bigger problem, right? We can't, if we can't expand this because we don't have the sulfuric acid, then well, what are we even doing? Um, let's just check sulfuric acid. So sulfur. Yeah, we can get it from sodium sulfate, but this doesn't really have a, a solid way to be obtained. Let me just, just Google it. Uh, and let's see. Yeah, these are all kind of old, right? Uh, Let's see. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah, so I think we do need to, uh, so what we can do actually is um, increase the lime production. It's, it's kind of weird that we're doing that, but uh, yeah, that's something we had on the backlog and we can just actually do so why not um yeah so in order to make that happen we do need to kill this robot it's not doing anything else so that's fine but then we can just copy all of this i guess um yeah let's let's just cop do a broad copy put it in a blueprint and then edit the blueprint so we, yeah, I mean, having the warehouse there. Okay, let's uh, just, uh, can I clear you? Uh, delete, okay, just try again. So here, if we do this, then we should have all of the stuff needed and we need to bring some stuff around, but a lot of it could be done. Yeah, and we just need to refactor that a little bit. Okay. So this is fine. We'll leave this out. We'll leave this out. Um, can. Uh, sort of reformulate this yeah I'll, I'll also i'll just we can just leave all of this stuff out and see how it goes uh this we can probably connect and we don't need this part uh, and this is actually not needed this is fine okay save blueprint so let's just see if we can put this down again. Uh, we are gonna need, I'm gonna just cut this a little bit and then we can just put it up here, right? This seems fine. Yeah, 
So yeah, we can do this. Let's see. And then we need some special stuff. So let's uh, let's actually let's set up crafting machines for these right there. Uh, actually, so uh, we don't need the flare stack and this guy. We can just do some pipe instead. And the active chests, I do think we should be should be crafting from now on. So that's uh, I'll set those up. And let's see yeah, over here, you guys. Copy, copy. Yeah, we're gonna be a little bit slow on the on the circuits needed for these, but other than that, we'll be fine. Um. Yeah, so I think we can do. Uh, these guys into here um, we can do we can bring up oxygen right because we need it for that guy um, so we can do that right over here yeah so like this yeah connect this up then we need some normal water with an offshore pump yeah like this and then a seafloor pump it's just easier to use that than to bring it over so let's let's do that like this is basically free anyway okay this is all good we're just waiting for that guy. Uh, here we want to chain this output to you. Yeah, these guys are starting to work. And here we just want to do some yellow belt um, like this. Um, let's see. So if we let's make a couple fast splitters and just move this power pole a little bit then what we're gonna do is we want to uh, bring yeah we want to bring it like this uh, we can do it over here and over here and then uh, some fast belt like uh, this no not like that like this okay and then i think we also should be Probably like if we have overflow Yeah, okay, so we can't really we can't really be putting it up here Right, so let's do let's just do it like this um, And then speed this guy up Right that should help um, And then do this I guess That should be fine but then we want to do um, overflow uh, into the network and, and we'll just fly a little bit, I think. Or, yeah, we could, oh, this is kind of awkward. I messed something up here. Uh, you guys should be going in here. Okay, that's yeah. It didn't really matter because this this was fine. I just rotated some stuff there. Um, okay, interesting. Looks like either we're running out or they're not fast enough. Let's see which it is. Uranium. Yeah, we ran out. Okay, interesting. Let's see how are things over up here then. Yeah, so yeah, okay, we're actually getting it, but it's just uh, it's a, a little slow and it's just far far away, right? So it's slow slower than Yeah, what we used to be able to be be able, be able to handle we can yeah, we could increase this but it doesn't really do much so Yeah, this should help and these guys we're gonna yeah we're gonna just do this i guess and bring in a little bit over here 
Yeah, we still have that setup dedicated for um, for in like robo network stuff. Um, yeah, and this. Yeah, so one of the issues is uh, that this is actually not fast built. It's probably pretty relevant. Yeah, this is all fast now, so it should give a, a decent amount of space for these guys to actually output. Yeah, and this guy, yeah, it will be slow, but they we're gonna get some some extra sulfur out of this. Uh, yeah, and these guys. We're gonna get an, a little bit extra sulfuric waste water. Let's see if we look at these guys, then yeah, one of them is working. Like if we get a little bit more, it should be fine. Sulfuric acid is picking up a little bit, but it's it's really tight. Like we, we actually probably need a bunch of these units to uh, to survive in the long run. So, yeah, we probably want to build these in a more integrated way and, and balance like one of this, like build a unit that's just this setup and then consumes all of this line. That seems like a pretty, pretty nice thing to have. Um, yeah, and then we have the carbon dioxide more as a side product. Let's see. Yeah, and so all the stuff that we're doing now is just gonna be a little bit slow to propagate. Um, okay, yeah, iron has been even lower. Are we, are we browning out again or were we browning out again? Didn't really look like it, right? Yeah, it's it's not great, but it's also, I think basically the, the lower power usage is really just because uh, we had the other stuff, like the, the iron shortage just caused a lot of machines to go down. Yeah, this should double lime output. Yeah, and I don't see, like, I don't see how we could improve this right as in yeah. okay so if we look at what this needs we need to yeah we have to ask the cask can we do something with that because we're we're making a bunch of that and i would think let's see as gas we can use it to make artificial puffer atmosphere we can oh this seems really really useful yes Okay, I um, guess we're gonna be splitting acid gas because we're gonna get basically, yeah, this is gonna get, uh, this is very useful for the other stuff, fluoride gas, yeah, okay, acid gas, here we go. Because it's the, the hydrogen sulfide, we can we can uh, make into sulfur. Might have other uses for it. Okay, is this interesting? I have no idea. Let's see, is it, well, can we do anything with this? Yeah, this is, I think this is all the, like this is some, some whack ass atomic shit. Um, yeah, so we don't really care about that, but this, this is all very neat. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do acid gas reprocessing. Um, we could actually do that up here, right? So the carbon dioxide we need to chain in. Uh, the sulfides, if we bring in the oxygen, which we could actually sneak through here, uh, we can reprocess that into sulfur. Um, and then what else do we have? Did we have? There was another product, right? Uh, acid gas. Yeah, hydrogen fluoride gas. Let's see. Uh, so we can make puffer atmosphere with that. Mm, yeah, we can 
use purified water to make it into hydrofluoric acid or we can use it there yeah we can use it there immediately that seems kind of interesting too are we running into any issues there yeah it's already full up so that's kind of annoying but it could let's see yeah let's just check so what maybe we just vent it for now right but yeah, we could make it into acid into the acid and then probably like if we have it into the acid then no okay i guess we're we're just we're just gonna avoid it for now that seems okay like it's not ideal but we'll yeah we'll make it work okay so we're gonna claim a little bit of space here and uh, we're gonna craft some advanced chemical plants like one two three seems fine then we're gonna do uh, this recipe so we're gonna need green metal catalysts uh, and yeah we can make those up here right it seems fine we're gonna be doing green we're gonna make carrier frames one two three four five six seems fine um then we're gonna do a requester chest bring that in and we'll carry that out then let's see we got a chemical plant so we're gonna do one two three and you're gonna be doing uh, let's see Acid gas, yeah, this guy. Okay, so then we're gonna, because the acid gas is clearly just being vented. We're not, we're not doing anything with that. Um, so we'll bring that in from here, like this. Yeah, that's all good. Then the carbon dioxide, we're gonna carry out. Uh, actually, yeah. we're gonna just run this underground for a little bit, like this. Yeah. Then you guys, we can just uh, carry out this way. Because we have the carbon dioxide over here as well. Right, so let's do that. Seems fine. yeah like that okay then you guys we're gonna connect up and i'm afraid we're just gonna vent you i think let's let's do a small tank though uh, i might have one still maybe not a small inline tank let's craft one of those and then just and then do an overflow valve uh, with a flare stack and let's see you're gonna get these guys you're gonna get uh, these guys as well you're gonna get uh, these guys yeah you're, these guys are gonna drop over here yeah we can power some stuff already just to make sure that it's gonna land and did i craft a flare stack maybe not flare nope uh, you guys can all go into the network as can you uh, we have the flare stack over here okay i guess we're gonna put that down a little bit differently like this seems fine yeah and then we need to power that but that's okay so yeah we have the and then we have the important one so this guy that's what we actually care about in this case yeah so we'll connect that up 
and we'll just reprocess that into sulfur. Like, yeah, I, I think we can just go ahead and, and reprocess all the, the asset. I don't see a reason why not. Um, yeah, so in order to do that, we do want to get the oxygen in here. Uh, are we hogging another? No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah. So then we're gonna relocate that robo port just a little bit to, yeah, I guess over here. And we're just gonna do it after that. Um, actually, yeah, that's kind of awkward. Um, robo port. So we want to get output belt over here. Um, because you're the wrong way around and the carrier should be in here. So uh, let's do a robo port over here. We'll make sure that uh, these guys are uh, just a little bit have a little bit leeway and uh, we're gonna claim a little bit of space um and yeah we're also gonna cut the episode because i've been overrunning my time um thanks for watching and we'll see how this uh, ends up next time thanks if you enjoyed this video please consider liking and subscribing it helps people like you find it too thanks